Okay, another day and another sunny update. Um, what we've done while you weren't looking is put a chin spoiler on it too. So we've got that authentic JDM look. What we're going to tackle today is, is some steering problems. Now, what it does um, is it bump steers. And it's pretty easy to work out. Uh, I'll give you a demo how that actually works. But um, suffice to say, over a bump, it steers where you don't want it to, and it's not fun. So we're, today we're going to have a look at that and why it actually happens, just in simple terms. Keep watching. Why do we have problems when you're lowering your car? All right, so imagine this is your control arm. You're sitting in your driver's seat. Normally they sit down a bit like that. Your wheel's here, your chassis here, that's, that's bolted. And as your suspension compresses and, and comes back, the, that arm goes through an arc, which is all well and good. See, normally it will be there, and suspension will go down, up and down in these points here. And as you see, there's not much of a... Hang on, where's my ruler? There's not much of a difference in there. Now, if you like the sunny truck, and we've lowered it, we're starting here. And as we hit, it hits a bump, now we're starting to really move, as you can see, away from there. So why is this a problem? Okay, um, it wouldn't be a problem if your steering arm was bolted to exactly the same point. But it's not. It's pulled to a different point because it's got to move in and out. And <laughs> that's where it gets to be funny. So what happens is, with your steering arm, as you go up, it pulls because that distance is shorter. So what it does, if you're looking down from, from it above, as your steering goes up, your wheel will actually turn and come back down again. So that's what's called bump steer. As you go over a bump, the car steers. Now if you go on a really bumpy road, it's not fun to drive. It really isn't. So we're here. So how do we get back to where we want to be and get some geometry back into it? Well, your, your shock absorber, There's your spring, and that's attached down to the bottom here. Here's your wheel, um, with your stub axle like that. Um, there's your arm. In there, that bolts, the steering arm bolts to the side of this, and the shock bolts to the top of it. Now, in between, this is where we can start playing with stuff. So that's a, that's a roll center adjuster. And we're talking roll centers here, so basically if you, if you get both sides, the roll centers on this is about a foot underground because my control arms are facing upwards. But if we go and put one of these in there on the bottom of the shock, that moves that back down to somewhere much more decent. So we're getting less of an arc, so it controls bump steer, which is why we put RCAs on. This has got its own problems. Um, Normally, uh, where it fits together on the bottom, there's a, a piece that sticks up from the bottom and fits into the bottom of the shock, which is what we've got here. The problem is on the top, there isn't anything. So we're going to have to do a bit of machining and some hot and cold stuff and, and make one that goes into there. But apart from that, that should do the job. Hope that was understood. Probably not. Okay, so here's the... This, the uh, lower control arm here's where the shock bolts to and where these guys fit is in between here so it brings this control arm back down but still keeps the same because our hub and everything is attached to the shock but this is attached to the steering arm which is on the back there and I'll show you that in a minute but that's yeah so they fit in there so we might pop one in and just see how it looks but it still needs some stuff done here, so yeah, that'll have to be done later.
goes. So during the week I got a speedo corrector from Castle Main Rod Shop. So that should look read a lot closer to that now, which it didn't before. Like at, at 100 kilometers an hour, this was reading uh, 122 or something. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was miles off. Anyway, it should be a lot closer now. I haven't actually tried it out, so let's take it for a drive. We've got our new RCAs in, and uh, where we go. Ooh, a bit cold. Jesus! Get off your phone! Shoulder bolts that fit the uh, RCA's better, but the bolts that came with. 